I overate all throughout the holidays. Now I have to get back on track. Is there a miraculous mindset to help me get healthy, well, and lose weight? Yes, there's absolutely a healthy, happy mindset to help you get on track again. Um, I, I like that you uh, allowed yourself to enjoy the holidays. If there was ever a time in the history of humankind that it was important to enjoy the holidays, it was this past holiday season with the pandemic. I, I love that you said that um, I don't know if the overeating came from just enjoying that this was kind of stepping out of the norm and letting yourself maybe have some holiday cookies or things that normally you wouldn't have, or if you were feeling that you were trying to fill a void. And either way, there is a way to get back on track, but it depends on what track you want to be on. If you want a miraculous way that works really quickly, then you want to shift your mindset first. The physicality is like the last thing to change. The first thing that you have the most power over are your thoughts. And so I'd like you to get into a place first and foremost where you really let yourself just love yourself for no reason. That you deserve love, that you're with yourself 24 seven, nobody else is. And that if you can love yourself 24 seven, then you're going to have a really healthy, well, physical body. So it's about coming home to yourself and letting yourself perceive that your own opinion about you is the very most important opinion in the world. And as you close your eyes to the outside, maybe some extra unwanted pounds, Close your eyes to the outside and just look at yourself inside. Just, just go directly to your heart of hearts. Just bypass everything else and go right to your heart of hearts. And now feel high regard for yourself. Feel love for yourself. Feel how important you are to so many people. Now the ego sometimes won't let us see this, but so many people care about you. And it might be just somebody who sees you from time to time walking on the street. So many people care about you. The ego never lets us know this, by the way. It makes us feel very dispensable always. And we can dispense of other people emotionally and mentally and physically just because the ego lets us thrive on separation, apparently thrive on separation. But this is the deep connectivity that begets the experience of having a really well and healthy physical body because you'll make choices and decisions that are based on self-love. I, I highly recommend never having a goal that's outside of yourself to lose weight for, say, many people try to lose weight for weddings and, and, and occasions. I remember someone saying one time when someone said, you know, make this um, suit a little smaller for me because I'm going to lose weight before this wedding in a couple of months. And um, the guy who was doing the measuring said, I'm going to make it an, a size bigger because every time someone tells me that they're going to lose weight for a wedding, they wind up gaining weight. And so you can see that that's never going to work to have an outside motivation to please a boyfriend or a partner or a girlfriend to do anything that's uh, having anything to do with the good or bad opinions of other people. When you're taking this fast route, the way to do it is to go inside beyond the guise of a physical body, go into your heart of hearts and just love yourself now. And love that you chose to just like let loose and relax during the holidays. Even that's good, it's all good. That was then and this is now. And in this moment, when you're loving yourself fully, you're going to be fully present. That's how you become present. If you're in appreciation or love, you're present. Now, as you stay and maintain this connection with the truth of you, the invisible part of you, the inner being of you, the part that resides in your heart of hearts, now you're going to make choices and decisions that make the heart of hearts of you happy. And that will be foods that, you know, 
once in a while you might indulge, but it's not going to feel like you have to open up a refrigerator and inhale the whole thing. You're going to feel as though you're satiated and satisfied with things that actually enhance your well being. I can't tell you specifically what they would be, then I wouldn't be very aware. But I can tell you that if you align with self love, and this might take a little bit of work, taking your eyes off the world, taking the eyes off your outside physical body for a little while, focus on loving yourself, appreciating yourself, even for the smallest things. And if you find you can appreciate yourself for small things, start to do some small things innocuously for other people. Leave an extra quarter on the meter. Do things that people would find and delight in without them even knowing that you're the one that's doing that. You're like the invisible person that's doing things and paving the way to be better for other people. And let yourself then start to feel that love well up from within you and make your choices and decisions about what you're going to eat, what's going to come into your physical body and into your physical experience from love. Eat with love, what's grown with love, prepared with love and served with love. All it is is a path to love. It's all love. Only love is real. <laughs> so let yourself focus on the love. And that's the fastest path to being recognizing that you're not a body and that you're capable of overcoming any obstacles as far as weight or anything that feels unwell in your physical body through love. Has to be through love. <laughs>